Today I'm excited to share with you 10 free AI tools that can dramatically improve your ability to make good decisions. These 10 tools can help you with everything from deciding where to go to eat to prototyping and design decisions, all the way through deep decision tree analysis and programmatic decision making. While I go through these 10 tools, I'm gonna show you a few ways they can be mixed and matched to suit your unique situation. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna go rapid fire through a lot of different ways you can combine these tools for more sophisticated workflows. The workplace and the world is changing faster than ever and we're gonna be faced with important decisions that nobody's ever faced before. I'm incredibly grateful to have AI tools in times like these and I'm really excited to show you the best of what I've come across. Let's go. The information and gathering research phase is the first phase of this and the first tool I like to go to is perplexity.ai. We need real time, up to the minute information to make good decisions and that's what perplexity provides. You can do a ton with perplexity AI for free. You can even turn on this pro feature and try that out for free, getting access to a bunch more sources. The most important thing here though is this focus feature that a lot of people overlook. If I'm making any sort of a buying decision, any sort of expensive piece of equipment, or maybe it's a vacation, a hotel, even going out to eat, this social focus is super helpful. This social focus points the search here basically to Reddit exclusively, and I've found that Reddit gives me more reliable reviews than any other review site out there as these other review sites have been really hammered with spam. I've used this a ton and found it to be a reliable way to get good information about buying decisions, restaurants, etc. Another great focus feature here is this academic focus. This is almost the opposite of the social focus where you are focusing it exclusively on academic papers. This academic feature is very helpful when making any sort of health decisions if you want to look at the latest research on, let's say, supplements for sleep. I've got another tool, it's probably the one I'm most excited about that all revolves around Reddit coming up later in the video. The second tool on my list is Consensus. This is another fantastic tool for gathering academic research. This goes out and searches millions of these academic papers and it works a little bit differently than the academic focus there in perplexity that I just showed you. So I just searched, is creatine good for you? And this gives you, based directly on academic research, this consensus meter, which is very helpful that 58% are saying yes, 33 possibly, and 8% no. And you can click in and find these sources directly there if you wanna read up on that and find where they got this information. Another great tool in this research phase when you're trying to make a good decision, this can be very helpful. The third tool on my list, the all-powerful Notebook LM. <laughs> my videos would not be complete if I didn't mention Notebook LM. We can take the research that we've gathered from and pull that into a notebook here so we can analyze it. This is getting into that next phase of analysis analysis once we've gathered some trustworthy information. This is a notebook I made when I was trying to make a decision on the best way for me to mentally reset. I've gathered a bunch of sources here on resetting information. Again, you can add sources right here. I've got a bunch of videos on exactly how to do that. So I've added not only those sources, but also a little bit of info about my particular situation. And now I'm just gonna walk through a quick prompt sequence to show you how to use Notebook LM to help make decisions. I'm asking it to please make comparisons between different options or strategies mentioned in these resources. I find this prompt works better than just a summary of what's going on in here. Now I'm just asking it to please look at the source called My Situation and recommend some of the best options for a mental reset. And finally, I'm asking it to please help me predict the potential outcomes of these to help me decide the best path forward. There you go, this is super helpful to compare all of those different sources, those are massive sources, and use them to help decide the best course of action. While reading text can be helpful, I've often found that looking at something visually can really help me make a specific decision. So now I wanna get into some tools that'll help us visualize our decision making. I'm just gonna copy all of this and pull this into the next tool on my list, Napkin AI. If you haven't messed around with this, it's one of the most fascinating tools out there. I'm logging in, clicking on new napkin and draft with AI. Then I'm just gonna drop that last response from Notebook LM right in here. And it does a great job of summarizing that and putting it in a readable format. And now we can graph out some of this information and see some of the impacts these different strategies might have. You can upload all kinds of information into Napkin AI and generate all kinds of graphs to help you make decisions. 
And while we're on the topic of making decisions using visual information, I definitely want to mention ChatGPT's vision component. So if you have the ChatGPT app, you can take photos and load those in to make all sorts of decisions. It might be deciding if you should try to fix your bike yourself or bring it in to a specialist by taking a photo of what's wrong with your bike. Another one might be looking at a confusing parking sign and say, hey, can I park here? Or for your business, you might want to take an image from a competitor and use that vision feature to help you understand why that competitor made those uh, choices. Or you could even take a whole bunch of product images and ask it what they have in common. For interior design decisions, you might want to take a photo of your living room and ask, hey, how can I make this more cozy? Or when you're at the grocery store, you might take a photo of a discount rack and say, hey, is there anything on here that I need? The next tool on my list is Midjourney. This can be a really cool tool for brainstorming and developing different visual ideas when you're trying to make a specific design decision. So let's say we're trying to make a decision on a new type of sneaker. I'm just going to copy and paste all of these sneaker images into ChatGPT and see what it returns. Here in ChatGPT, I've got a login and then I've got to upload this image. And I'm just asking it what are some similarities between these sneakers and what are some differences. And now let's say we're trying to make a decision on what type of sneakers to prototype. I'm going to ask ChatGPT here to create a mid-journey prompt based on these sneakers. I'm asking it, can you please create a prompt that I can use in mid-journey to incorporate everything here into an amazing new sneaker design. And I'm just going to paste that right here into mid-journey, midjourney.com, and see if it can generate some ideas for different prototypes. And there you go, there's a crazy prototype based on those sneaker images that we pulled just straight off of Google. But remember, you can use this for interior design, for any sort of a marketing campaign, or just understanding your competitors and the images that they use. There's a lot of ways you can use Midjourney to help steer your decision making when you start to visually see things rather than just describing them. All right, so now that we've generated a bunch of different options from our data, it's time to start making some decisions. So this next phase is decision support and communication. And this is a tool that not nearly enough people are using, GPT for Sheets. It's just fantastic. Let me show you how this works. So you go to Google Workspace Marketplace and install this GPT for Sheets into Google Sheets. You will need an OpenAI API key for this. So let's say we're trying to decide what are the best keywords for our bakery. I've got a bunch of keywords in here. Now I'm just gonna put a prompt in this cell. So here's the list of keywords, here's the prompt, and then here is the function I'm putting in here, equals to GPT open bracket, I'm just dropping in the prompt first, comma, the keyword, let that run, and this is gonna tell us, is this a good keyword for a local bakery? And it says yes. Now we can just drag this down and make 20 decisions right here instantly. Here's another cool example, if you're doing some Christmas shopping, I have uh, a list of descriptions of everybody I need to do Christmas shopping for. The prompt here is generate a great Christmas gift idea for this person. Please just return the gift idea, nothing else. Otherwise, it'll return a whole sentence. But then you can just drag and drop this down and it comes up with Christmas present ideas for everybody on your list instantly. You can really finesse that prompt to get some good, good decisions made here. And now I want to show you one of the tools that I'm most excited about. This is Gummy Search. This is the tool I was telling you about that relates directly to Reddit. You can sign in for free. I'm using the free account here and you can pull in all different audiences related to whatever your passions are and whatever your business is and really get to understand what the world is talking about from Reddit. So here in my generative AI has all the different subreddits related to generative AI. I can look at hot discussions and top content, browse all posts, some of the AI features you have to pay for, but I've found that I can just grab this stuff and copy and paste this into the free version of ChatGPT or the free version of Claude and get some really great insights that way. Very, very powerful. Number nine on the list is Audio Pen. I absolutely love opening this up, clicking that microphone button, and just talking through my problem, talking through the options I'm considering, talking through you know, all of the thoughts I have, and then this will organize all of what I've spoken into it into a nice note that I can then upload into Notebook LM or ChatGPT and begin figuring out
figuring out how to make a decision. This is the easiest way I've found to get all of my thoughts out of my head, and then it will not only record that, transcribe it, but actually clean it up so it's clarified and easier for these LLMs to understand. All right, the elephant in the room, ChatGPT and Claude. I use the two of these fairly interchangeably. These are some of the most powerful AIs for decision making. And now I wanna run through just a handful of ways you can get the most out of these when you're making decisions. This includes creating mind maps, reducing biases, doing some data analysis, decision trees, voice discussions, scenario planning and forecasting, problem framing and solution generation, even just improved communication. So just the more clearly you can lay out your ideas to yourself or others, the better you can make these decisions. If you've ever used mind maps before, this is a powerful way to do some decision making. I got this from a guy named Abhishek. So I've just written here, can you please create a mind map that'll help me make a decision about building a new garage? In a text reply, please list the main decision points, options, sub-branches, etc. You want to make sure to remind it that it should be a text reply. Otherwise, it's going to try to create something in Dolly, which is no good. And now I'm asking to pull it into a markdown format. This is just a special format that other systems can use and read easily. And now I'm just copying this into a tool called MarkMap. And by copying and pasting that markdown in, I've got this awesome mind map for this decision to build a new garage. We can download it as HTML or an SVG that we can then put on our website or other places. Super, super cool and very helpful for visualizing all sorts of decisions. Now when it comes to reducing bias, you can load in all sorts of information and use the AI to help you reduce the amount of bias in your own decision making. Here's just an example of a friend who may be thinking about getting a divorce and ways he can reduce bias in his decision making. Of course, there's data analysis. So if you have a bunch of data, you can just copy and paste that into ChatGPT. I like to ask it to pull it into a data frame before it does its data analysis. This way you can make sure you're uh, getting it into that Python part of its brain, that math part of its brain, and begin doing the data analysis there. Here's some data that I've imported for tracking health that you can just look and see where certain things dip and make decisions based on that. And now let's try a decision tree analysis. This is one of my favorite decision-making processes to use ChatGPT because it really maps out and thinks through everything mathematically. For this decision tree analysis, I'm uploading some information about some fictional candidates. These might be candidates that I'm considering for a position here with some details about each. And I'm asking ChatGPT to run a decision tree analysis on these candidates. Let's see what it comes up with. It's laid out its plan of attack here, and now it's analyzing the data. It's creating some code to help us make this decision. It's scoring the candidates based on various factors and it has selected candidate four. You can look back through all of the math and figure out if you would have done the same thing and adjust as you see fit. One of the most powerful ways to use ChatGPT to make decisions is simply by talking with it. When you click on these little headphones down here in the desktop app, you can just have a conversation back and forth with it about all the different options that you're considering, as well as asking it about different decision-making frameworks and different ways to view this decision. Just by talking through the decision yourself gives you a ton of good clarity, let alone the fact that ChatGPT has access to nearly 100% of the world's knowledge. So don't overlook that voice feature when you're trying to make a decision. And now for some different ideas about combining these tools. Think about gathering information from consensus and pulling that into napkin to see some uh, visual representations of the data that you're looking at. Another one that I love is using gummy search to gather up some intel about what people are saying on Reddit, pulling those into perplexity, fleshing that out a little bit more, and then gathering all of that into Notebook LM to analyze it. And once you have some notes to analyze it, you can then pull those into ChatGPT or Claude for some fine tuning and further discussion there. And don't forget the custom GPTs and Claude projects as a way that you can upload all of this different information, whether that's the notes that you're creating in Notebook LM or the research that you're doing in Perplexity, pulling those into a Claude project or a custom GPT can be a powerful way to continuously come back and continue to make good decisions. So 
As usual, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you got a ton out of this video. I definitely put my heart into it. I wanna remind you that this channel is funded by my Patreon supporters. There would be absolutely no way I could make these videos without Patreon support. All I really need is one in a thousand of the people watching these to support me on Patreon, and I can continue to make these videos. So if you're that one in a thousand, please check out the Patreon options. Again, I have a cheat sheet with all of the different resources we went through here, all of the prompts that I put in, and I make that same cheat sheet for every single video. So anybody who joins me on Patreon gets access to not only that cheat sheet, but over a hundred others. There's also some coaching options in there as well. But thanks a ton for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Blazing Zebra, now is the time to do it. There's a ton of great stuff on the way. Uh, if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit me up in the comments. How are you using these tools? What tools have I forgotten? I get some of my best ideas from the comments, so please let me know. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Make the dreams come true. True.